All right, folks, let's welcome the players to the court for our next match from Argentina, Diego Schotzman. And from France, show some love for Gael Monfils. All right, guys, so just a few reminders. Five sets, okay, tie-break in the final set. If we go to, it's going to be up to 10 points. Six balls, seven, nine ball chains. We have net machine for the serve. Your towels, there are the boxes all around the court. They have a red and a white sticker. You can use the red, please. You can use the white, okay? Uh, shot clock will be over there and over there for the time. We have uh, okay for the calls, so all the calls will be done automatically. And also, you can use VR on this court if you want for, for any other calls, okay? Any questions before we start? Would you like to choose? We have heads or tails? Heads. It's tails. Serve. Stay. Yes. Hello and welcome everyone to Grandstand Court here at the USJ Billie Jean King National Tennis Center. It's day one of the US Open, the season's final major. Guillermo Fils of France taking on Diego Schwartzman, the Argentine, the former top tenor who had to come through qualifying. So a nice well, matchup for veterans uh, here in the opening this. round. Of course, Casper Ruud awaits the winner of this match. So a hazy and warm afternoon in New York, 84 degrees, fair amount of humidity, so the conditions, as always, are a part of the story here in New York. I'm Leif Shiris, happy to be alongside Nico Pereira. And Nico, boy, this is a great moment for Diego Schwartzman having to come through the qualifying. You can see the struggles he's had this year, but that had to feel good to play his way into the main draw of his last U.S. Open of his career. Yes, career has come full cycle for Diego Schwartzman in the tournament that back in 2017 reassured him that he could Three reach minutes. the heights that everybody put doubts on. This guy took them all into a, being a top 10 tennis player. Unfortunately, he would love to play a lot more, but this year you saw the results has not won a main draw match. He decided to call it quits. He will retire in Buenos Aires next year, but for him, it's very important to come and qualify for this event that has been so important in his career. Yeah, and uh, a fellow veteran across the net, that's 37-year-old Guillermo Fis. Obviously one of the best athletes on tour, one of the great entertainers on tour, also one of the best players around the game for a long time. 19 consecutive years with at least a final in the ATP World Tour. This guy's 
one of the most accomplished players. Great to see him still around. And great to see him healthy. Yeah, so entertaining to watch Mopis with that title in Stockholm at the end of last year. A lot of people counted him out, but he's been healthy. He's back with Michael Tilstrom in his corner, and he's very serious about playing until uh, his uh, last days as a at the level that he can. And he seems to be doing so. He had some good wins this summer. Interesting matchup against Schwartzman. It could give him trouble, but Monfils, the more powerful of the two, it's always a joy to see him in the court, particularly at this event where he's done so well. Yeah, take a look around the grounds. It's a beautiful grandstand court. We're just alongside the practice courts. Ava Azdaraki Moore. She is. Uh, one of the more experienced chairs around the tours and around the majors. Yeah, Monfils, a very popular player. The man has had success at the One U.S. Minute. Open before, so he knows his way around these courts. It's a fairly new court, this grandstand court. I circular. love it. Yeah, it's, it's just such a great watch, and the crowds there have like a different vibe from the rest of the stadiums. Yeah, not a bad seat in the house. Of course, not that any of the stadiums have bad seats. Gael Monfils won the toast. Is Elena, to serve. Yale's wife, of course, she had a victory today from a set down. She won in three sets to advance. 30 seconds. So it's certainly a family affair now. Of course, dad, daughter Sky. Not in the player's box, but obviously their life is full of the family and careers. Out of Buenos Aires originally. And at five feet, seven inches, one of the more accomplished shorter and players. I mean, you have to admit, the, the game has gotten so tall these days with guys 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, it's sort of the, the standard height almost. But a guy who's 5'7", obviously there's still room for great success, but it takes a special kind of player to do it. Well, Diego is a guy that was doubted ever since the 12 and unders. Nobody believed that he was going to play well at the next level, and he just kept breaking those predictions being a very successful junior, then a successful transition into the pros, and then in the pros, got into the top 100, top 50, and people were saying like he was an overachiever and he just wanted more. He hired Juan Ignacio Cella five, six seasons ago, and then he ended up reaching the top 10. So an outstanding achievement for the, the man from Argentina that chose to ha hang it up because he just kept working hard but results were not coming. And not an overnight sensation. He put in a lot of time in the challengers and the futures. He's got over 100 match wins in both of those, the futures and the challengers. So he put in his time. And the rewards have been uh, certainly very rich for this man, Diego Schwartzman. But it's Guillermo yeah, Fies who's just taking a moment here. As Monfils will serve first. First set. Gael Monfils to serve. Play. Wait, please. Wait. Possessing one of the best serves in the men's game. He certainly got the edge in firepower in this match of Schwartzman. Maybe the edge in horsepower, although Monfils does move well.
32-15. Schwartzman leads the head-to-head -head three to two. The last time they met was four years ago in Vienna. So can scratch that. Will not count as Monfils would be the big favorite here today. Monfils with a big win over Alcaraz in Cincinnati in second round, beat Popperin, who had played well, won the Masters 1000 the week prior, and lost oh. to Runa in the third round. So he comes in with a bit of confidence. And there's no substitute for winning tennis matches. And no matter how well you're hitting the ball in practice, pages. closing out matches is a complete reassurance that you can put yourself in a position to win and get over the line. Close out the opening game. That First game. forehand is his biggest and best weapon from the back, and of course the serve sets it up. Nice combination. The one-two punch to get on the board. Yeah, just to give you an idea, Gael winning two matches. Yeah, it's always nice to see the legends of the game be a part of the majors. can find the right combination 15 consistency love. and aggression like that he's gonna have a good day you know, obviously these hard courts here in New York are very fast so far this grandstand court is showing it to be one of the faster courts in and around the stadium Maybe the atmosphere, it just has been old. the site for some tremendous matchups since it was first opened here in Flushing Meadows. Totally different feel from the other courts. Yeah, and this is where Mofis can be trouble. He gets a lot of serves back into play, returns well, does everything well, really. Mofis returns well. He's going to make you play a lot of tough points. Some way this surface, the faster surface, will help Schwartzman give his serve a little bit more. And if he can be aggressive enough, a little more pace on the ground. He's, you can see he's not hitting a big serve, just 76 miles per hour, the last one. Through the years, Schwartzman's success came because of his good movement, his reels, and great counter puncher. Never known for a lot of power. I think that's the issue that caught up with him and why he's been struggling the last couple of seasons. But he's going to have to go for it. But Gael Monfils, he does not get enough credit for his good defense. People talk about his power, his athleticism, but he's a great defender. Monfils, One I'm not game sure there are many shots that he's not going to get a racket on, right? He gets to everything. 
And that's one of the challenges for Schwartzman. You know, how am I going to finish these points? Well, Monfils is also up and down. He can come in an off day. So Schwartzman is going to get the temperature inside the court, see how Monfils is feeling and go from there. We could have a very long one here if Schwartzman decides to be patient. Daniel has stepped it up in the pace of the first serve. Helps him conserve the physique that at 37, it's an issue. You, you know, follow a, a 30 year old sportsman, you're obviously concerned, okay, if he can maintain his health, he can keep going, but one injury, that kind of setback could end careers. He missed six months last year with a foot injury. A lot of time. Oh, yes. 30, 15. Good setup, good read by Schwartzman. He plays with an inch longer type of racket to help him with that reach. Oh. Thank you. When the struggle started in terms of results, he tried changing the tension, the quality of the strings, where he played on the court, try to get stronger, try to get a bit faster. That's where Fair it all 14. started going off road. His struggle started, I would say, through the after the first quarter of last year. He had to defend some points from the South American tour from back in 2022. He's got some intentions today. He's got a 2-1 lead. said that Schwartzman was going to have to take some chances, play freely, obviously not traveling with a coach. That's kind of a nice place to be. He's going to make his own decisions. But if he can go for it like this and have success, he's got a shot for sure. Well, he's one of those guys that always asked so much of himself and not coming with a coach might loosen up. He didn't drop a set in the three matches of qualifying and he had some tough ones. So that's a good sign. He's got to be feeling well. And if he loosens up a bit, maybe the ball will travel a little faster, which is often the case. Time. Fabulous Monday at the USTA Billie Jean King National Tennis Center. His first round action unfolds. This is a good one here on the grandstand with Schwartzman taking on Monfils. Diego's got the break. Lapatini. He's not getting enough depth on the last ground stroke, and Schwarzman was happy to jump on it. Aggressive forehand. Rankings 
with Schwartz. I mean, this is a guy that 15, 15. not long ago was in the top 30. I mean, we're talking about a year and change. In March of 23, he was there. He just went on a slump, never recovered, and decided to call it. But Diego physically could go on for another three, four years. No problem. Yeah, that can be a real challenge for an accomplished veteran. You know, if your ranking does drop down, you know, do you want to go down and play challengers? Do you want to have to do all those little things to get your ranking back? And that can be a tough ask. You have the, the passion, the stomach for that kind of challenge. Well, you never know. He's a young 32. He's a guy that's very healthy. He's a great athlete. So he taking a look at the ball there as if it was long, but now he'll face a break point at 30 40. Pulled it wide. Had to find that cross court angle from the center of the court. Not quite as big a target. He's chastising himself for having missed that. He was going to wait out Schwartzman in the rally. And Schwartzman trying to make something happen. Lost the backhand in the alley. Download the U.S. Open app to follow your favorite players, track scores and stats. You can watch highlights, get player news. And new this year, you can watch live 3D views of all the singles matches available on the app, the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Thirteen Schwartzman will be disappointed having surrendered his serve. He was ahead in that last game. And the challenge for Schwartzman is what got him the break advantage was that he was aggressive. He was going for his shots. And then in that service game, he sort of relied on balls in play. And that wasn't going to get it done. 
not easy to sort of get out of your customary way of playing. Montpellier right. love service game for a get more fees. The Frenchman back on top. But we're on serve. Three two. Be decided. But for most of the players, it's all about the opportunity that lies ahead of them. Here's Schwartzman to two three. Never got credit for his hands. Great feel at the net. Not easy with the extra long racket, but not a problem for Diego. I remember Michael Chang also used the longer racket, I believe. Do, do other players do that too? Service game. Forte love. Yeah. Oh. Missed that one. Forte 15. We're talking about the longer racket, not something that not all the players do. What's he trying to get out of that extra inch in the length of the frame? Reach. Jimmy Connors was the first one to do it undercover. Is that true? Oh, yeah. JC, keeping secrets from us. Oh. Oh. Michael Chang famously adopted it. So that became a little more popular. Radu players 40, like Radu 30. Albert do it, but you gain in reach, but you lose in control. So you have to be really careful. There's a couple more that use it. I remember when Michael Chang came to the net, he would sort of choke up on the racket to give himself a little more control. I was I was wondering, you know, did that work for him? And obviously it did, but he liked the length from the baseline or on the serve. You saw Michael Chang at the net? Three games <laughs> he did come process. to the net, and it wasn't just to shake hands. Uh, there is Diego's <laughs> mother and the glasses and his fiance, Madame DiMartino. Second 
Love the thing. So many keys to being successful from the back of the court. Obviously, the depth, a key in that shot from Schwartzman. He might not have the power of Montfils, but a good deep ball is a great substitute for power. Well, Diego cracked the top 100 10 years ago, and he's just started getting better because he got a little stronger. He was always fast. But then when he lost a half a step a couple of seasons ago, that's when things started getting more difficult to this point. And that's a good looking for him. Couple of aces for the Frenchman. Game on peace. No, no peace. peace. Despite losing the break advantage, gets to 4 3. Mon peace. Leads by four games for three. First set. It's such a beautiful Time. setting on this Monday. Yes, it's warm, and that's a humid day, which is a sort of the standard for New York City at this time of the year. So it's always a part of the story, particularly in this opening week. Diego Schwartzman, he's got his toe on the line. He's got new tennis balls in his hand. He's serving at 3 4. Fifteen love. Yeah, that's a collector's items for Schwartzman getting a free point on serve. Just missing on the sideline. By that much. Forty love. Response from Diego. Four games old. Well, he's Best soaking time. it in. Was in the top 20 for so long, in the top 10 for 30 plus weeks back in 21. So frustrating for him. The tournament is waiting with a nice recognition in case he goes down. It's been three matches already and he's survived trying to live another day. Oh, he would love play the first round. There were some tough ones. I think Monfils is a fitting one. Have Somebody knows match. so well. Yep. That was an absolute rocket of a serve. 124 miles per hour out wide.
gets the best of that exchange. Well, we talked about it at the start, Leaf. He's playing so loose without a coach, without the physio, without 15, the usual 30. fanfare. The ball is going a little faster, and he's caught Monfils by surprise. This tournament so special. This court, Schwarzman's played a lot on this grandstand court since it was unveiled. Really loves it here. Times when Monfils is content to play the high percentage game, lots of cross court 40, shots. 30. Of course, when you move as well as he does, you can afford to play the percentages. He does not move, he floats. <laughs> he does, yes. And you can hear him sliding into his shots, the original slider man. Oh. Good service. Use. Not much happening on that second serve. Support here, two time quarter finalist. Schwarzman. Showing it up at the net as well. <laughs> <laughs> even he even liked that one. Yes. Here's the chance of the Argentinian fans. That's a famous chant that started with Diego Maradona and kept on with this young man. Schwartz has been named after Maradona. Obviously a very popular name in Argentina <laughs> for many years. Wonder if Lionel is a big name these days. Oh yes. Oh. Lionel Messi, current king of football. This is a match he yes. must win, or he should at least. A bit lethargic. Missing way too many shots for his liking. Montes. 
Continues here in the ninth game. Tough conditions, not very sunny, but it's very muggy out there. You see Schwartzman talking to his corner. There's no lines people to look at with anger to complain to. That's right, all the calls are made by the electronic line calling system. Mistakes Mofis has made. was surprised he was surprised and gassed as we talked about the conditions but that drop should allow Schwarzman. You, Schwarzman to get there with plenty of time and caught Monfils in no man's land there Diego tries to squeeze a fast one past Monfils here with another break Point, didn't relinquish it, kept slugging. Views. Look at Gael trying to get some air, and and that's telling you that's going Schwartzman's way. Because of his speed, he always had his opponents making a lot of unforced errors. Covers a lot of real estate. Bad error by his high standards, by right? any pro Short standards, you've got to knock that down. Instead, offers up another break for a chance. 82 degrees, plenty of humidity. Guys working hard on a hot court. the moment is one of those that if somebody yes. comes in from the outside and you touch them they're steaming <laughs> you know what I mean tough day to play tennis it is and you know this hard court boy it takes a lot of the heat and you can feel it when you're out there running on this surface it absorbs the heat of the day Backhand. 
trying to close out an 11 minute game. I prefer not have to play a 12th minute right now. Close it out, get to 5 4. Schwartzman and come through the qualifying former top tenor trying to make progress against Gilmo Fees. He's got to keep up here 4-5. Did you like serving first when you were playing to get ahead in the score and, and create this kind of situation where if you broke serve you could close out a set? Yes, I think so. I think it's a big advantage psychologically to be ahead even if you have no breaks. A lot more guys choose to return for some reason or another in this last 10, 15 years. But back in our day, most everybody chose to serve if they want the toss. So what's the advantage in the returner's mind if you accept a return? You're thinking, I want to get to my opponent's serve early. Or I want to finish warming up. Maybe so. Or I don't want to start. <laughs> <laughs> I get a little bit of nerves. You're not feeling great, right? Oh, boy. 15, 14. Couple of mistakes here. And look what Demo Fies has. Set points. Inside the baseline. 30, 40. Hill's wife, Alina, a winner earlier today. She's into the second round of the U.S. Open. First serve gets the job done for Schwartzman. Advantage, Schwartzman. Frustration mounting on the 37 year old Frenchman having to work hard for his serve, having a couple of set points, seeing them go by in Schwartzman at five all, looking a bit inspired, if you ask me.
15, love. Yeah, we tried to 40, love. fake Mofis out, maybe he faked himself out a little bit, coughed up the air. Serve some energy. 40, 15. We'll go for the ace on this point. Didn't even move after this ball landed near his feet. Left for service. By a long way, I tell you, if this was the Schwartzman 40, a couple 30. of years ago, I would tell you that Gael would be in real trouble. As Pekka can go all day. Always known for his stamina. So Monfils, happy to get another game. Going to be sitting at 6-5. To see where this first set ends. Would it be a tie break? Oh. Or something otherwise. I'm sure he wouldn't want the other option to happen. Defensive play from a very deep position. Obviously, this is a, a set game, so if Monfils should get the break, take the set, but put him in the driver's seat. Not so good at the net for Gael. Yeah. Still, the best hands in the business for a long time manages to hit the tweener from all the way back in the fence almost. Yeah, we recommend that you don't try that at home. 15 all. Let for service.
Well, against any normal human being, that point would have been one in a single shot. Instead, Mulfee's required three big shots. And the jump backhand to finish it off. Struggling to find the consistent oh, range, though. Left for service. This is something you don't see every day in many stadiums in the world. Six the crowd games knows exactly where Schwartzman rate. sits. Look, capacity crowd out here in Grandstand. And Diego, I've seen some of those losses in the past 12 months. He's usually the guy missing and the guy complaining. Not today. Motivation in the forefront. And Monfils knows he's in trouble. first oh how many times have we seen that shot from the young argentine Schwartzman. Ah, Schwartzman taking care of his two service points. In a, such a valuable time in the tie break and get a free one on your serve. And that last serve just 98 miles an hour. Standing room only crowd in the grandstand. Popcorn match. For one. 
Schwarzman. All right, so Monfils is on the board. We'll see if it's too little too late here in the tie break. to take that a change of ends 5-1 Boy, what a rock solid display so far from Schwartzman Monfi seems to be struggling with the conditions not only the conditions but also the style of play of Schwartzman has made him make 27 unforced error up to this point and this set's not over and you have to credit the Argentines' movement for that. Just too erratic. But losing this first set in an hour would be very costly for Gael. Yeah, his failure to convert opportunities at the net as well, just one of six. Remember he had two set points as well. Schwartzman. Well, now it's Schwartzman's term. With some set points. Schwarzman. Okay, Schwarzman. Oh, Schwarzman, Schwarzman slipped in the middle of that point, got himself seven back against the six. in the mix, and in the end, he takes the tie break. And he's got the opening set, 7-6. First in the second set. Just be interesting to see Monfils frame of mind for Schwartzman. It was perfect. He made his opponent work for over an hour and still come out empty handed. So that is just the perfect start for Schwartzman. It could not have been better. So what's the game plan now for Monfils? A bit of a setback losing that opening set. Same as it was in the first set, just clean up those 28 on four serves. If you can get that down to 18, depending on how many games you play, of course, they play, you know, the, the 12 games on the breaker. Because Schwarzman, 13, 15. it's not pushing him back. There is another error for Monfils. Diego's ball and the issue with his game is that he does not put opponents in his he in their heels. He's depending on their mistakes.
part of the problem for Mofis, yes, the conditions today, but also because he's struggling at the net, the transition game to finish up there, I think he feels like he's got to hit a winner. And like you said, Schwartzman is getting to every ball. And that's his Peter Schwartzman playing Michael Chang was the same thing. Couldn't get a ball past him, so you ain't closer to the line and you missed a lot more than you used to. Yeah, suddenly you've got how many unforced errors now? <laughs> He's got a lot of unforced errors. Four to fifteen. It's not easy to hit winners in pro tennis. I mean, usually it's the result of good play, setting things up, but just hitting a cold winner, it's tough to do. These guys are such great athletes. They defend so well. First game, second set. Well, that is just what Schwartzman would have wanted, a hold of serve. And each little tick. La 15. Fifteen. Fifteen. Take 15. One game all, second That's set. one small positive step for Monfils to take. And just looking at some of the service numbers, he's below 50% for the match. All those serves you miss, you've got to tee up a second serve. That's more energy, right? So to play energy efficient tennis, get a lot of first serves in. Do the little things well. to get some cheap points on your serve. Love Sometimes I felt that, that he could have been a bigger server because he possesses the capacity. He just chose not to. He's so solid off the ground, but 
today and this opponent, it's not the time and place to do so. He needs to shorten up the points. Challenge Schwartzman on power. Change. What goes through the mind of a baseliner in a rally like that? You know, how do 30, they dig 50. so deep for the single point? 25 well, shots. They're all very different. Schwartzman now is looking at across the net and seeing Mofi's gas. He wants to just play as long as possible. Not necessarily opening up the court to risk it on the sidelines, but just make Gael work for everything. It's a mind game at the moment as well. It's a psych psychological warfare, I suppose, <laughs> going on out here. Oh, oh boy. Hey, After a great battle like that last point, you give away a cheap one there. First double for Schwartzman. Such a great time of day at the Open, trying to find that one match that's happening. And people are packing it in here at the grandstand. Two games to one, second set. First set, Schwartzman. Both guys, some long service games. These rallies have been very long. New tennis balls serving at 2 1. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, just the some of the evidence of the great defense that you spoke about, Monfils, just so quick off that return. Yeah, many times I wondered why it was not 
more, he's more aggressive because of that wonderful reach and athleticism that allows him to cover more cores than a six foot four frame would allow. up off the net cord you're not sure what's going to happen 40 15. that's a long run and look at how close the ball is to the net Yes. Yeah, Malvisa struggled today to close out games and that's one reason why the unforced error tally now 34. Advantage. Monfils. And that's Diego Schwartzman 101. He's always tested his opponents mentally and physically. He just will not go away. Yay, Monfils. All right, this time he's able to close out the game. Monfils leads by three games for one second set. And the first time in the match where we've had a, a two-game gap. Someone's taken advantage of their break. Of course, here in the grandstand, as in most of the stadium, different arrangement for the crowd. Stay connected to the U.S. Open on Facebook, X, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and WhatsApp. Join the conversation with hashtag U.S. Open. section where you've got reserved seating there's controlled movement meaning they'll allow in a few players at the end of a game instead of waiting till the change of ends of course in the upper section it'll be free movement so fans can come in and out without interruption boys are not happy with that i think the fans are though they, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> especially when it's this kind of weather you end up standing in the entrance while two games are played. Fifteen. Oh. Some fans standing in the sunshine, and you get one of those precious 12, 13 minute games. <laughs> it's not going to be a good time. See a little breeze starting to blow. Be a relief. 15, these Closing in on 5 p.m. Eastern time, local time, and temperature still hovering around 80 degrees. Of course, the good news for the players is that we're playing in shadow now. They don't have the direct sun on them. Oh, 
missed it. Oh, what a chance here from Ophis. Break points at 1-3. Game on pace. Another forehand misses, and Monfils now in command thoroughly. Two Mon breaks of serve. Four games to one, second and set. Four one. First set, Watchman. Tie break out of Paris, France. And a familiar competitor in New York. Hey, Pain Love. That's the thing with Diego and why he had to win that first set. Fairty love. Does not have the much toughness not having won this season. And Monfils has been playing some good tennis. Let's first service. Let's see the reaction of Schwartzman to his response. As Monfils looks to be Fairty growing. Love. Game. Montes. I'm sure in either of these men's eyes, probably welcome news Get to regain easily. Schwartz, when I'm sure the thing, okay, maybe I can conserve some energy. Still a couple sets to go to decide this, perhaps. There we go. It's your La answer. 15. Good serve out wide 15. there. Yeah, Montfils, we mentioned, very familiar with these hard courts here. Semi-finalist here on one occasion and three quarterfinals. So plenty of success. Oh. Oh. Another of those players who starred in the big three era. Oh. 
Montfils. Had a couple wins over Rafael Nadal. He had four wins over Federer. That was in 14 career meetings with Roger. But against Novak Djokovic, Nico, 0 and 18. That's a tough head to head for any player, but. He didn't get to utter the Vetus line <laughs> that you're about to utter, right? <laughs> and no one beats Vetus Gerolata 17 times in a row. It was when Vetus beat the great Jimmy Connors. Pretty one sided rivalry between those two. Until that moment. <laughs> All right, so Schwartzman Long stays alive by five in the second two, set. Second set. First set, Schwartzman. Monfils missed that forehand wide. So, 5-2 for the second set. Trying to get even. start to a game that he wants to win right here. Close out the set. Able to direct his energies then to the next set. Just remember, three out of five set tennis, championship tennis. Gail's wife, Alina Svitolina, there on the right. 40 love. All right, set points. Second set, Monfils by 16 to 2. Monfils able to close one it out. Set. A love service game. And we are even now at one set apiece. And finally, some good news for the Frenchman who struggled in that opening set. He came back from a break deficit, but did not deliver a good tie break. But that second set, Schwartzman just 32. Careful not to come undone from the start in this set. Pay attention to his body language has been very positive up to this point. Diego's mom, fiance.
15-14. You know, he kept his unforced errors to a minimum in that opening set. One reason why I was able to take it, but we've seen more of them in the second and now in this game. That's trouble. That's been the story of the past 12 months for him. Defense from Monfils in that backhand corner. First game. Schwartz made so first. many good shots. But then missed it going cross court. So a break. Fifteen love. No. He's been a fine stretcher player for Monfils. He has not coughed up too many mistakes like that. Oh. Second service. Fifteen, good time for 13. a double. Nico, if I told you that you'd win 80% of the points coming to the net against the opponent, would you come to the net more? <laughs> I mean, Schwartzman has won 80% of the points coming forward. But he sort of stopped doing that and just sort of fell back into the, you know, balls in play mode. Old habits. Right. Fair He's used to that old pair of shoes staying behind the baseline and it just... Tough to teach and old dog new tricks. Forty thirty. One hundred twenty six miles per hour. Yes. his muscles now. Montes leads by two games to love. Third set. He was looking a little worse for wear in the opening set and at the end of it. And he seems to have a pretty deep reservoir of energy that he can tap into. And plus, I think when the score starts going your way, you don't feel as tired, right? It didn't look <laughs> like it towards the end of that first set. He was looking for air, gasping for it. Short ball. Jeg was late coming forward, and when he tried to get Love there, he took a 15. big swing. Okay. 
trouble again for the Argentine. Line. The errors are just raining down from Diego Schwartzman at the moment. And things, all things start to go wrong, just like that ball that barely caught the baseline. He faces two break points for double break to start the third. Still a bit of work for Diego to get back to Deuce. A drop shot would be yes. a bad play there. You know, obviously he missed it, but are you surprised you're not seeing more drop shots, or is there a respect between these guys that they're going to get to it? Yeah, these are two great movers for two different reasons the agility of Monfils and the quickness of Schwarzman. So there has to be some of that. Oh. <laughs> Neither of the two guys are too far on the court. As well, the drop shot is a weapon that has come out of late because players are going so far back to defend that the drop shot has become more plausible. Yeah, you're definitely seeing it more often. Oh! Oh! The greatest purveyor of the drop shot might be Carlos Alcaraz. Monte plays right two games to one first set. Schwartzman gets the game. One He's on the board. Two out of three set affair as they split the opening two sets. That shot is king for more peace. Hey, 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 hey. Keeping an opponent within range and punching him because of that extra power, extra gear that he possesses. Slides 
that wide. Okay. Single break leads can be precarious. Gotta take care. already for a four lovely lead. So he's got Schwarzman still hanging around. Only down a break. Diego it's lacking confidence uh, because of his lack of winning, but you don't want a guy like Schwarzman. His confidence could click in. Put that he, he should have. It's like should have moments, right? Yeah. And you don't want to let too many of those go by. Should have broken. He should have held. But that's what's go going through his head. Yeah. All right, gets that one. Here's another chance for 3 1. Advances, Mon Face. He gets through the game. Mon Pace leads by three games to one. Third set. There's Michael Tilstrom there on the black hat. He's been on and off on Mon Pace corner. Every time he's in need or if he wants to really work hard, he calls Till in. Top 30 player himself back in the day from Sweden. Hmm. Oh, a good time for a double that makes his hole a little deeper one three love 30. Play that's played off for him today. Can he do it more often?
Mateo. We talked about should have moments. That was one of the how did he miss that moments. Ready to tick over to two hours of tennis here on the grandstand. There we go. Determined in defense. Montes leads by four games to one. Extends the lead now. One Two breaks all. in the third. Taken a bit longer to recover from that hour long set that he had two set points and ended up win losing. Excuse me. Bit his time and is comfortably ahead. Looking at ease. Obviously, there's the physical matchup between these two, but also the psychological one, the mental one. Monfils is winning that battle. <laughs> Diego looking a little discouraged. I suppose you would be after losing so many games. But I think getting away a little bit from what he had success doing in the opening set. Not much you can do about that, sir. He's always been one of the best in the game. Yeah, that's big. Yay, big time tennis. Monfils leads. By five games to one. He's just so one of those players outside the top 32, outside the seeded positions, who I'm not sure the seeds would be happy to see in their section. You know, another guy like that, Matteo Berrettini, he's unseated. Roberto Batista Agut, he's unseated. You're talking about former top 10 guys all floating around in the main draw, unseated. Even someone like the American Rally Opelka. Taking on Lorenzo Musetti, the Italian. Fifteen old. There are a few. There are a few of those nowadays. Yes, I mean, and you're right. I wouldn't be surprised if an unseated player was making a run down the second week. So we get into the round of 16, the quarterfinals. Look at the draw. I mean, so many floaters. And one person watching this match with interest would be Casper Rude. 
Number eight seed out of Norway. He awaits the winner. For a long time, Mr. Clay Court Specialist, but a finalist at the U.S. Open, that went away quickly when he did well in New York. You mentioned Rally Opelka, currently down two sets to one to the Italian, Musetti. Yeah, that Game. match happening over on court seven. We're seven games Monty, into this third set. Two, third set. One set all. After the change of ends and the sit down, it's Monfils who's going to serve for the set. Here's Monfils. Oh. Fifteen love. Always nice to get the first point when you're closing out a set. Get you a little closer to the finish line. One of those times at 1530 where you'd love to dial in the first serve, get a free point, or get the point started in your favor. Beautiful serve, and that slice serve, it's got a bit of control to it, so it's fairly high percentage down the middle over the low part of the net. Good decision making. better in the 30, second and third 40. set. He has been more patient, not going for so much, which was the reason he missed a lot in the first set. But a mental error here is he was a bit gassed and went for the risky drop shot. Break point, Schwartz. from the passing shot better. 
Set point. Grabs the third set. By six and six. the second set, a couple of breaks Monfils of serve. By two sets and to a 6-2 set. So now just a set away. It's an interesting observation that Mofis tapes his fingers. Not every player does. Diego Schwartzman sure does. I remember Bjorn Borg used to put heavy tape on his thumb that used to crack. And I thought, oh, as a young player, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put tape on my thumb too. Maybe I can play like Bjorn Borg. <laughs> Didn't work. Thank God. You should have taped your whole body. Love so <laughs> Leave the mummy Shiras. <laughs> I mean, we we all loved Borg's headband. But I was into the details. Of course, your hands can take a beating. There's the tape on his fingers. Defensive two-hander. One last Love thought on the 14. tape on the fingers. Great top ten British player, John Lloyd. Really? Oh yeah, he used to tape up his hands pretty heavily. All right, there's the break from Olfis, and this Olfis. one is swung heavily in the Frenchman's favor with that moment. Well, some people may not know that the USDA has been waiting for Schwartzman outside his matches because this will be his last match at the US Open in case he goes down. They have a celebratory plaque just like they did for Dominic Team earlier today. As Diego announced a couple of months ago that He'd had enough and for no particular reason. He'll officially retire in Buenos Aires next year as he's ranked outside the top 200. But he did qualify this year, did not get a wild card. Won his three matches in straight sets. So the USDA and all the dignitaries might be making their way towards yes. the grandstand at the moment. He's here without his coach, just with the fiance and mother very relaxed enjoying what would be his last major his last open 15 love yeah, and I think that's it's a really nice thing that these tournaments do now for the players remember Joe Wilford's song of the French player playing his last Roland Garros he did a wonderful presentation on court yeah, not to take away anything from the USDA but that's a nice that's a nice gift right there that Roland Garros Clay court. Yeah, sort of a, a shot of all the layers of the clay court oh. in a trophy. It's a beauty. It's a very cool way to represent the clay and all that Roland Garros is about. I think that statue they have of Arthur Ashe serving out there would be a nice. Mm. Yeah, something distinctive nice, nice to this piece. event. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what a serve. Oh, Look where that thing. ended up. Just curving away from Schwartzman.
Yeah, well, you mentioned Schwartzman a couple of quarterfinals here at the U.S. Open. Set. Biggest and best results coming on the clay at Roland Garros in terms of major accomplishments. A couple quarterfinals there, but the one semifinal. Yeah, that was the best one. But I remember that 2017 quarterfinals here it was the, really the time the big tournaments winked at him. He smiled at him. He beat Marin Cilic in the third round, if I'm not mistaken, out on court 17. And that's when he really thought. I interviewed him right after that match, and he says, now I believe. Oh. That belief took him all the way inside the top 10 for a better part of a year in 21. That's wide. It's a titanic achievement for the small Argentine. Love 15. Who on, was on always, courts, yeah. Who was always doubted on any court. He was always doubted that he would not succeed at the next level since he was a youngster. And it's just something that it's great to see happen to a great guy. He did deserve it because he earned Love it, didn't he? Team. When you look at his challenger and futures record, the lower levels, the you know the developmental years of players, I mean, he had almost 400 matches at that yeah. level. Plus, he didn't have money to travel, so he had to mortgage his future as a player, if you will. That up until like four years ago, he had to give 15, a good, if not half the portion of his prize money to that sponsor to pay him back. And it was not until that contract was up that he started really ripping the fruits of his labor. Unfortunately, when that happened, his game came down. Yeah, in total, earned over $14 15, million 14. Dollars in prize money. So it was quite a career he's put together and amassed some amazing results. Bit of bad Game. luck is both feast the net court and the line. Schwartzman coughs up the air. So that's three love. Four feast making sets steady progress to here to win. Great careers. This decade coming to an end as Diego Schwartzman will play his final U.S. Open. up all sorts of pressure. Thirty love. So we mentioned Schwartzman's success. Graham Slan level also reached the finals in Rome. That was in 2020. The, the moment there was beating Nadal 
on clay in the quarterfinals. Oh. I mean, that's a, that was a dream of all players, <laughs> beating Nadal on clay in Rome. Or anywhere on clay, right? on clay at Roland Garros was a fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. He lost to Novak Djokovic in the championship match in Rome. Oh. And at the time, he was 0-9 against Nadal and 0-22 versus top five guys. So that was a, an important yeah, breakthrough at the time for Schwartzman. He's sort of cementing his place Montes in the game as a, a top ten player. Games to love. He just ha time. had that ceiling put over him, but he pushed that ceiling way up high throughout his career. Remarkable career. USOpen.org is your online home for point-by-point -point live scoring, highlights, real-time stats, and draws. Visit the official tournament site at USOpen.org. Just a little wide. Brilliant tennis. Love thirty. This is the more piece that he was expecting, just missed too many shots in that first set. Out. 15 seconds. And the one Casper Ruud did not want to see as he will face him in the next round. Shawl. Gael finished Schwartzman's off here. Break points. Thirty forty. Still battling. Hauls himself back to Deuce. Obviously, yes. wanted to get something going. Get on the board. Advantage, Schwarzman. Still something of a long shot down, a couple set. breaks of serve. And by two Good friend, Pico Monaco, present. He's going to lose it. I guarantee you that. 15. 15. 
15, love. Yeah, both these guys have had some big moments. As you can see he's getting emotional already. Yep, he's going to be a tough one. This tournament means a lot to him. A couple of quarterfinals here, always played well. Argentinian crowds always participating. It means the world to him. And his family. I mentioned, oh yes, named after Maradona. Great footballer from Argentina, showing off a few skills of his own, is this Diego. something extra special planned. sliver of hope for Schwartzman, but you can see he's disappointed in missing. Always has possessed one of the great two-handers. He hit it well. And a nice little change up from Diego. That yes. low backhand with underspin. This is going on five minutes for this game. Oh. 
Jane Montes. Right, the Frenchman Montes takes care of his serve. Five against a one. He's nearly taken care of Diego. Schwartzman having to come through the qualifying without dropping a set. That's an achievement in itself. The strength and the depth in the men's game. And put him in the draw here for the 11th time. Love his first three appearances at the U.S. Open. He lost to Djokovic, Nadal, and Del Potro. <laughs> All former <laughs> champions there. I guess he, he was the gateway to winning the title. Each Schwartzman, you might win the title. I wonder if that's for Mofis this year. Love Potro. See, he's thinking about it, too. Match points. Again, one piece gets the win. Six one, six seven, six two, six two, six one. In the end of an era for Diego Schwartzman here in New York. It's a big part of the tournament's success over the years. A warm moment to share with Diego. Now those items won't be making the trip back to BA. <laughs> nice to share the souvenirs with some of the fans. Diego, this is a special moment for you here on Grandstand Stadium. It is your last US Open that you will be playing here this year, 2024. And to remember some of your special moments, we've got a quick video to take a look at on the big screen. The big 
Sanchez from Diego Schwartz. Oh, we've got a little showtime. What a shot. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Speed, court coverage. An absolute touch of genius. Wonderful moments, Diego, including, of course, a run to the quarterfinals here at the US Open. I'm sure an emotional moment for you. And I'm sure you've got a few words you'd like to say to, to this adoring crowd. Yeah, it's difficult to speak. You know, I'm a guy who <laughs> cries a lot. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Not supposed to cry now. <laughs> I have to be strong. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, special moments like you, you see before on the screen. Uh, once again, playing here 11 times on a road, playing in, in a Grand Slam in the US Open. I did great, but uh, I think oh, the entire crowd uh, today, the years before, all the Latin American people, all the American people here, I mean, uh, I don't know why they take care of me too good every year, but uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I deserve or not, but uh, I'm, I'm really grateful about uh, the, the whole years I've been here, and yeah. I want, to, I want to say thank you one more time to all the people here, the people who is watching on TV, Stacy, I don't know where is her, here. Thank you very much. I appreciate all you, all you did this year and uh, years before as well. You are great, and thank you very much. And uh, <laughs> I mean, I never dream with this kind of moments, you know. But uh, I don't know, maybe. At least I run too much and I deserve it now. <laughs> but uh, I'm happy to, to have these moments. Congrats, Gael, one more time, all his team. And nothing, I'm, I, I will enjoy every single moment from now on. And uh, thank you very much once again. And thanks. Just, I want to say thank you. Diego, you absolutely do deserve it. And it's OK to show the emotion. Really, you are an incredible player. And to mark this momentous occasion, we've uh, prepared for you a collage of some of your finest moments. Brian Hainline, chairman of the board and president of the USDA, will now preempt Diego Schwartzman with a collage to remember some of those special, special moments that we've enjoyed here at the US Open. And for one last time, folks, Diego Schwartzman is here <laughs> celebrating his time at the US Open. Brian, thank you very much. Thank you very much, everyone. I appreciate it. Thank you. Diego Schultzman. No, such a, a wonderful gesture from the USJ. Wonder collect, wonderful collection of moments in that picture there. All the match play and memories he's produced for himself and for all of us. He's had so many in the 11 years, as he said, that he's been competing here. He's watching Diego in his last match. You two have shared a nice rivalry over the year. You've job. played each other. So some really wonderful times for Diego Schwartzman. His last U.S. Open. You know, we'll see him at the start of next year. He'll get a wild card into the Buenos Aires event. That's on home soil in his hometown. And I'm sure that'll be an equally emotional moment. But for now, we'll enjoy the memories of Diego Schwartzman and the great performance he had today. He won the opening set, forced Guillermo Fees to play some fine tennis to win it in four.
So we'll step aside for the moment here on Grandstead. Monfils advances in four sets over Diego Schwartzman. The Frenchman will take on Casper Ruud next. Look forward to that. But for action here on the Grandstead, still one more match to come featuring Victoria Azarenka.